YouTubers, it's Caitlin Richmond here. Um, just wanted to check in and say hi and um, show you a couple of cool things that I got over the last weekend. Uh, Saturday, Kevin and I had a chance to go up to Bellingham and spend the day up there, see a friend of mine, and we were bumming around downtown for a couple of hours, and the first thing we wanted to do was find a cult shops, and so we went and looked, and we ran, and we kind of, we found, we looked up about two different stores, but they were too far away for us to get there walking, so we were just walking around town, and we happened upon a place called Stone Moon. And it was this beautiful little shop. It was tiny, but it had a ton of stuff in it. And some of the cool stuff they had is Kevin got a book about um, animal totems called Animal Speak. It's this look at that thick book, and it's huge. Um, just about animal totems and what they stand for and ways to communicate with them and things like that. Um, while we were in there, I found some. I found four stones. I mean, I. Kevin and I call them our stone babies because they're, they're little, they're about a dollar each. And I'll show them to you. First one is just a given, clear quartz. We didn't have a good piece of clear quartz in our collection, so we decided to get one. And this one, he's making himself at home, he's doing really well. And really cool little stone. Um, I thought we needed a piece of hematite, the grounding stuff. I think I have an amethyst stone, so right here for insomnia, if you put hematite and amethyst under your pillow, it's really good for sleep, so we're going to use it for that. This one I've been wanting to have for a while. I've been reading about this stone forever, and I just wanted it, and for a buck, it was actually really good. This one actually like nearly jumped out of my hand. It was so excited to get out of there. This is a moonstone, and I, the camera is not doing it justice, but... Excuse me, it's a gorgeous stone and just absolutely stunning and beautiful and she is just so full of energy. I just love having her in my pocket. And then this fourth stone I was really excited about because I didn't even think to grab her and but she kept calling out to us and actually Kevin picked her. Kevin's like, why don't we get this one? And I was like, cool, let's get it. And it's called an uh, Unakite. It's like a jasper kind of mixture. It's got a green and red in it. Well, green and pink. It's really beautiful. It's really good for breaking barriers, I guess. If you carry it with you, it's supposed to break barriers to help self-confidence or whatever is keeping you from loving your true self. And I think for me, that's kind of what I need at this point, to just be confident in myself and in my craft and everything. So, this one I didn't think I'd bond so much with, but she's become my real favorite. Yeah, she's really neat. I love her. Then, of course, they came in this little bag, so they have been carrying them around with me, just kind of getting them all set up with my, with my energies. And the full moon's coming up, and we're going to clean them and, and charge them at that point. So we're pretty excited. Um, any comments or things you want to say about these guys, go right ahead and do so. Um, any, again, any ideas for videos or anything like that, please, please feel free to let me know. I'm trying to get more ideas as I go, and sorry that these take so long. I, this isn't my computer. Anyway, have a great day. Blessings.